I'm scared to talk in his chat, and I, I'm no. like, I swear to God. Hey, yeah. so I'm squeeze here. Oh. It's round 13, <laughs> you dipsh. Oh, just say hi to me when I'm focusing on the game. It's fun. Say hi. No. Oh, did you want your crumb? Here's your crumb. Hi. Hi, your squeeze. Attention. Hi, squeeze. Your attention. Hi, squeeze. 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 Hi,
Wow, you're, you've been nailing it Let's the whole time. Let's just hope they don't do a podcast at Hassan's house, yeah, where we do Fear and I'm Because he can't, be fucked. he can't be fucked to go and, like, make a set for his podcast. Yeah, we would just have to go to Hassan's house, which he never leaves. He in Knoxville okay, took you his shit doing it. all got over it. them. You always do that. <laughs> Yo, it's up to you in Knoxville. <laughs> yeah, because we fucking did so much. And other people. Dude. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome everybody to episode 100 on the dot. 100. On the dot. What? Yeah, yeah you're right. 100 100th episode. 100th episode. Yeah. 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 Oh, what a disappointing guest. No. <laughs> no. no. A 100th dude, episode? Yeah, you guys kind of look like the chart at the barbershop. Like the, <laughs> the, oh, Nor- the, the, Nor- the Norwood chart. <laughs> <laughs> the Norwood. Wait, wait, I'm not balding, am I? You, honestly? Okay. Look, no, let's like, say, honestly. It, all four of us are in the chart because I'm like kind of, it's, I'm the most full. <laughs> well, you do have the yeah. most full head of hair ever. Yeah, good. like I'm the stage after. Good you. one. You've done it again, buddy. <laughs> 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 I'm so mean. Do you, so think that he, do you think he does look like it's Pull going it away? Pull it up let's for see. him. You know, <laughs> I think eventually it will really become noticeable, but I think with like a haircut where it's like in the front, it's harder to tell. We're talking about come over techniques. If I told you, what if I told you it's been this way for six years? Early on, it has stayed here for <laughs> six years. I forgot the PTZ. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the same oh, for no. six years. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, can I get a can I get a large fry? And, uh, <laughs> it was, yeah, there's gonna be a day. Hey, can I get the grimace shake? I just want to try it. I just want to. I just want to be crazy and try it. <laughs> no, so there's gonna be a day where it just all you're gonna look in the mirror and be like, ooh, like this is evolving faster than you can maintain it. Yeah. And then you have to make a choice. Like, will you be the guy who's, you know, gonna use finestride and fight it or just like succumb and go bald? I'm right. buying a I'm buying a one way ticket to Korea when it happens. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm getting my hair fixed and I'm not coming back. Oh, he's, gonna, and he's gonna play an ASL with full head of hair <laughs> and a Korean bowl cut. <laughs> I owe Squeaks a hair transplant. Yeah. How does that work? I just you owe ten lost grand? a bet. Yeah. Fifteen grand. <laughs> like I'm going what? for the top shell. Like <laughs> Ludwig's paying. I'm not going for the fucking bottom of the barrel hair transplant. How do you how do you owe him the We made a bet while streaming and I lost the bet. And it was it was like a a long shot that he would okay. win and he won. And it was just it was just a miracle. Was it a long shot? You not bet at all. 15K <laughs> yes, it was. It was me winning an only up race. Which, it's like that's not a long he, shot. He was the worst in the group, bar none. I, you were out first. You see what it's just, I love when there's a truth teller on the podcast, so oh, Ludwig's lies story, story. cannot make it through. I'm not looking. <laughs> like he's almost 30 and he does shit. No, no, it's above his waist. It doesn't count. He's being a piece of shit. I've been getting... It's above his waist. You can't let him whoa, have whoa, that. Whoa, this is below my waist. What is? No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm looking is at this it. Cheating it's in look line with your waist. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. Fuck. Um, he, you, will you actually do it? A hair transplant? No. Yeah, right? I wouldn't do it. We're strong. We are strong. Yeah, we're strong. Is that how you feel? Genuinely, yeah. I don't. I don't want to do a hair transplant. What about what about like a a shave and then like a new haircut that's like less permanent, like this guy, like go bald, like completely like, shave like they it shave off. you and they give you like a hair oh, system. Like the toupee. Oh hair no, system. no, I can't do that. Yeah, if I know inside that it's not my like real hair, it doesn't feel good. It feel. I feel like I'd feel like slimy about but, it. What's, do you what's think if you're a normal guy, it feels better? Like you're a streamer, like you you're a public facing person now in your life. Yeah. But if you were just like some fucking dude <laughs> yeah like is it kind of different because i was thinking about that maybe i mean i feel like everyone is sort of public facing regardless because i remember like working in a bank and if someone got a hair transplant you like it's oh, you have to tiptoe that's around talk it. of the town yeah, yeah, yeah but dude, nobody will confront them did you see no. squeaks but <laughs> isn't it also isn't that a weird name for a guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah not my eye banker yeah i'm not gonna co- invest with squeaks no but like if someone gets a you know if someone cosmetically changes something Nobody's gonna talk to them about it. I think the only difference is if you're a streamer, it's that's gonna be your whole stream for the next two months. Yeah. You could get like like Tony Hawk like Liberty spikes, like the blue ones. Can I? You think I could pull it off? I think you pull that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> it squeaks is it a punk band? He's in Revive Reagan. <laughs> no, I don't have the attitude. I think that's my problem. <laughs> you fall in line really easy. Yeah, I'm too complicit. <laughs> what if What if Aiden came into the office one day with just a big like pair of fucking plump lips? <laughs> Oh, like you got injections? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Dude. Give me that. Give me that and some Botox. Get rid of these crow's feet. Are you down to Patreon goal? 
pa- Patreon for, for big, big, fat lips. big lips for Amen. Big lips, but I'm only Wait. down if you uh, if you consistently say I've never had plastic surgery. Wait, <laughs> lip injections go away. They right? go away. Yeah, it takes like months, and oh. they get lumpy. Oh, dude, don't do that. That's a horrible sh- idea. Sh- Poor sh- Amen. Sh- 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 no, up. I'm yeah. not gonna sit here idly by. I only get a bad life I'm choice. Yeah, I, I, I want to get in my Matt Rife arc, <laughs> and then I can't. Your hand left ants. No. Yeah, they're on my legs, bro. Dude. I know we're in a backyard and ants are normal. Like but <laughs> <laughs> I know we're outside where ants live. For the sake of the immersion, I know it's normal. That's ha- that's what's happening. Is this a Woody hat or a Jesse hat? This is a full hat? costume. It's, it's Woody. It's a oh. whole Woody. I don't know why it's left for me. I'm not going to wear it. Wear it. Yeah. As a, as a sign of protest. <laughs> wear I the, gotta wear Can you wear the, the uh, cow the thing? On. Just the cow thing vest? The cow vest what, to your left? You gotta say what it is. I'm not gonna let the you get away with cow, cow thing. You're gonna have to use your The cow vest. I said it. Woody's got the cow. I've got a hat. Cowboy hat. I wear it now. I it's, like it. Maybe, it's kind of made for you. Maybe Fear End isn't too bad at all. <laughs> they left this for you? That's sweet. Oh, this guy. Yeah. I'm rootinest tootinest. This is actually kind of. Aiden would buy this ironically and pay $1,000 for it. <laughs> yeah, it's Montclair. <laughs> yeah, 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 this is Montclair. <laughs> it's the Moo. Moon Claire series. Yeah, the Moo Claire collection. It's the Moon Claire collection. Squeaks, what's the most expensive piece of clothing you've ever bought? It's like a training <laughs> I, I go to, like, TJ Maxx. So I'm the worst person finally, to ask. Finally a person <laughs> after my own heart. Yeah. For once, a fucking normal guy who's balding and sad, and just, we have what? the same Wait, shit. What's what? 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 Like, just what? not fulfilled. Well, let's, let's and just, like, empty. About? And just empty and just, like, worries all the time. And just, like, a fucking, like, a piece this of shit. You like. sleep on the floor, right? He sleeps on the floor. What do you mean do I sleep on the Next to a real bed. Don't you even sleep next to a real bed? He no. does. And isn't that so well, nice for me? You're speaking for me. Finally <laughs> to have someone. You're projecting. What space here? What space here you got? Emerson, which, which brand? We have brand. We have brand. Yeah, Squeaks, wait. where did you go wrong? Are you sad? No, I'm great. I feel very well adjusted. Can I, I say that? Well adjusted to depression. This I know. Is, yeah, I'm, I'm used to my sadness. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to say. I just watched a 30 year old create an imaginary friend in front of me. <laughs> Yeah. No, he's right here. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You're no, cool. Not at all. That's DJ someone else. Max for life, baby. And he's yeah. not close to you yet because he's not thirty. Which blew my mind. I found out it is days fucked ago. up. This Why is did that blow your right? mind? Because you go online, you say I'm 49, and then you go, Chad, <laughs> I'm not that old. And you say that Carter was president. Yeah, 1973. But he wasn't. No, but if you say it with confidence, <laughs> not a single person corrects you. <laughs> like, this is so true. It's just so you can just say whatever you want, so I just lie about the president. That's it's so just, cool. It's just a random thing to lie about. Yeah. No one checks. You know, Trump was ever president. You know, he was vice president the whole time. <laughs> he was just way more famous. And you're I like, what? what? <laughs> Maybe he was. No, because I wrong. Who's right. president? It's like, what do you think POTUS means? Kamala <laughs> Harris is her first name. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, tell, if people don't know about you, can you describe yourself a little bit? Can you tell me like, who, you tell me who you yeah, are? Can you tell, I don't know who you are. Can you, <laughs> you tell me know. who you are? But as, a, like, a human being, like, uh, as my core? Yeah, like, start from age three. Age three. Mm. I was actually born in Mumbai, India. Okay, me too. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, you see, I was lucky enough because... <laughs> <Why> is that funny? <laughs> It is a very strange twist. I was on, you know, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> Why is it? What's so oh funny? Oh my god. Yeah, you're a funny guy. guy. What you're 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 a funny guy. <laughs> I'm so confused. I knew this guy was funny. A guy, guy walks in a room and he's like, You can just say whatever you want, everyone will believe you. <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, you're going to watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> uh, you, I mean, you know where he's so going. I was three. Uh, you know he's going most racist right? shit to, to Oh, see. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I what? accidentally the most racist shit to Squeaks by accident because uh, went to pick Is it when up. you ordered him butter chicken <laughs> <laughs> the other That's night? We went to the Disney Channel, Channel movie and knock, knock, knock. It's DoorDash with butter chicken for me and my friend. No, I got, said Jai Ho I got of butter of chicken. He ordered a basic bitch order of chicken tikka masala and mango lussy. The no. colonizer meal. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly well. That's what you that's said. That's what you ordered. I reclaim the meal. If I didn't <laughs> order it, then I'm weak. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I took ownership over the British. Yeah, I like he, that. He knighted it. He said, down with the Brits, and then he ate it. <laughs> well, you know what's weird? When Ludwig was ordering it, he was, like, telling me what he's ordering for, like, validation. <laughs> he was like, he was so like I'm going cool? to get the yeah. uh, butter chicken. That's exactly. Right. Right. It's a place I've had a lot, so I started uh, off by the going, tiki. this place is super authentic. <laughs> I got, I got I'm to break out smoke. J-Ho, like, at a celebration. <laughs> but then he, he had a bite, and he was like, not bad. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm good friends with the owners of like, <laughs> yeah. good people good people <laughs> well, well you can tell like how good an Indian restaurant is by how they treat Indian people like if I'm in a white neighborhood where there's not like white people 
if I go into an Indian restaurant, they sit me near the window. Like I become part of like the sales pitch, the decor, <laughs> the decor. They're like, we're Dude, so legit, fucked. we caught one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you that's how you can tell if you're physically out of place. <laughs> if the Indian people are near the window, the giant neon sign that says "Real Indian people eat here." <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was expensive, and it's all connected in the neon. So it's the you're, you're, you're paid three fifty an hour to go. Damn, just like home <laughs> for eight hours. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happens. No, but really, you grew up as you. We we talked on the decom show where you were talking mm -hmm. about growing up watching Disney Channel movies, and you're like, it's just so many white people. Yeah. And then, but you say sometimes it's not white people, and you're like, fucking thank God. Well, it's like one of those things you don't realize that you look for diversity. And then when you see something with like an Indian person where their trait isn't just being Indian, you're like, oh shit, like this is cool. Yeah. You get excited. 40% of decoms are about ghosts and ghosts are also <laughs> white people. Ghosts are white people. <laughs> that if you're is like true. a black dude and you die and become a ghost, you're now a white dude. <laughs> you're a white guy now. <laughs> because you're a ghost. <laughs> true. Also, every <laughs> time out of my peripheral, it looks like a maid's outfit. Am I crazy mm. on him? It is looks it? normal on him, I'll say that. It's, well, it's like I'm with the black and, black and, the and white. white. What, what you want? Mm. <laughs> what you want? Yeah, Lil Tecca famously wore Woody's shit. No, Why'd they leave good. it? Why'd they leave this? I don't know. You said, uh, I, I caught podcast. something. You said you worked at a bank, which is big yeah. because a lot of people that you meet in streamer world are got famous when they were 17 and have never worked at a normal job ever. So uh, I actually don't know how old you are. Like, uh, how did this all but happen? I'm legit 29. <laughs> but no, I know. I, uh, Why are you so bad at like selling that? What do you mean? The real fact that you're 29, every time you say it, you say it like it's a lie. I think it's because I have a smirky face. <laughs> like, I can't say any, like, I can't even compliment someone without them being like, you asshole. Kind of, yeah. He did the same he, thing earlier. He answered an honest question. I was like, you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I can't How help dare it. You? I got like a goofy like face. You, you, you basically, for me, it's not your face. It's me. For me, it's you opening with, I lie for fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, well, that is what has informed yeah. me not trusting and you. And then also documenting your life as the beginning of Slumdog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> which you did. Yeah, but I mean, if people aren't going to take me seriously, might as well lead into the lies. You know, wow. like, fuck it. The people that are wrong. Dude, Dude, what ha when did you like... Start streaming. I feel like you <laughs> yeah, came out of nowhere. Dude, I, well, That's what I've I'm been, saying. I've been streaming for like, gosh, like six, seven years. Okay. But I streamed to like three viewers for five years. How'd you blow up? Uh, I had other streamers start watching me. Okay. So what? like that, then they started talking about me. What'd and then, you stream? I used to stream CSGO. Oh, right. Dude, oh, he's wow. oh, you're, good at, you're good at CS, right? I, I love that. CS, yeah. Oh, that's so so then I, and then I started speedrunning Mario, and that's sort of like... I love CS too. I don't, I don't have a key to it. No, I just meant I also like it. He likes the Yeah, but you're not as good as, you know. No, he doesn't I was just, like the game. He was just trying to you know his first case he ever opened was a knife? He told me that. It's true. It's true. And his that's second, such bullshit. His second was an M4 Neo Noir stat track. Dude, that's crazy. Marble fade. <laughs> an M9. <laughs> what? It's an M9 marble fade. No, it's just a marble fade. No, no you're so confident. <laughs> just I know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's just, he just opened the texture. It's just a fucked up polygon. You can apply it to any gun. Right click doesn't work with it. Uh, what were you saying? So you blew up, you played CSGO, tapping heads, and then yeah. you started tapping stars. Yeah, mm. and then I started playing Mario, and I feel like Mario 64 is like the is like a cool place of Twitch. So ah. many people started with Mario 64. Yeah. Like Dubbin. I played a lot of Mario 64 <laughs> early on. He's Ludwig, referring to Ludwig said this once. He said that Dubbin. the best category you could, uh, like video game you could play to break out is Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah. we argued about this, right? Where you said that and he said you were wrong? No, yeah. I didn't say he was wrong. No, was I Amy. said, you said, I said, said to become the biggest wrong. streamer possible, I think you have to pick a different game than Super Mario 64. And he was saying that Super Mario 64 is the best game to break out. Yeah, because Aiden was saying, no, I think Valorant's better. And Ludwig was like, look at Valorant. He, pull, he made Zipper pull up the page. He's like, look at all these fucking people that you'll never be. We scrolled for yeah. years. And we scrolled for years. Well, like, that's how it was with CSGO, too. Like, no, I'd had three viewers for five, six years because like, you just are so deep in the category. Yeah. Like, there's just no chance of anyone ever finding there, you. There are extremely, like, beautiful women from Eastern Europe who will play CSGO at a high level. 
And like it's like it's like they're just born doing that. They're just trained to tap heads. There's a, and like, you, just, you, you never had a shot, is what I'm saying. How dare you? Yeah. How, you, how have dare to, you? you have to scroll through the fifty the fifty Russian women with two hundred viewers who are all global elite yeah. to get to squeaks. Who are like, not even global. Who are, just like, who are throwing like perfect smokes and shit. And you're like, wow. And they're amazing. I just love them so and then much. And squeaks is like, ah, son of a biscuit. <laughs> Exactly. Lost another one. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I it wasn't like all. It was like I was happy with five or six viewers, but my goal was never to like blow up. How did you? How did you get people? Like you said, it was other streamers watching you. The first time I had seen you was when you were in the Christmas concert, like mm. acting, and uh, like what led to like Cutie reaching out? Uh, well, first it was there was like this wave, and it happens every like four years of big streamers getting into Mario sixty four. And I think, like, Northern Lion and all started playing it. And then they started, like, Northern Lion, Chibli, like, all these, like, NL-adjacent people. They started watching. And then Northern Lion viewers, like, clipping and putting stuff on LSF. And so those clips went big. Ooh. And then I think Ludwig saw a clip on his stream. And then we raced in Mario very early on. The Super Northern Lion viewers on. were like, we need more ball in our diet. <laughs> Can I get context? Are you, are you good at Mario? Like, are you pretty... I'm, de I'm okay. I'm, like, above average. Yeah. What's, what, what is that, man? What category? <laughs> are you playing, like, 16 star? I started with 16 and went to 70 he's, star. He's, like... Armada's got that he's one He's a lot worse than Armada. It, Armada's yeah, Armada's, the isn't Armada really, really he, good? He's a legend. Like, <laughs> Armada's amazing. You've been playing longer Did than Did you know who yeah. Armada was before Super, Super Mario 64? No. <laughs> That's so crazy! Funny. That's You're so like funny. one of ten guys. <laughs> no, what do you mean? No, 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 I guess I bet a bunch of people in that community. More and more every day. That, yeah. Dude, that's so More money. people learn about Armada this year, I think, from Mario than from Melee. Wow. Is it because, how high is his 70 star time now? He's 20th. Yeah, we checked yesterday, He's actually. a 47-47. World oh, records wow. of 46, 30 something, 37 maybe. So he's a minute 10 off world record, but his sum of best is a little lower than it. Not that that matters. Well, it does matter, but it's not like so. It doesn't mean you're going to get the world record. I feel, I, feel like, I feel like you guys should work this out right here. Right yeah. now. What's wrong? What's we, wrong? We, why you guys, he's why cranky because he's hung over. No, I have a vitrolic relationship with Squeaks that has yeah. hinged around the game where you put your fingers in a circle below your waist. And we have, you know, this one, right, Aiden? It's not we've, below your waist. Yeah. Uh, Dude, he's you literally lying down on the floor going to above your waist. I can't explain this to you. It's literally mm. above your waist. Just because your legs are your waist. Waist. Is this better? Is, yeah. Is the dog wearing pants like this or like this? Uh, it's it, literally the same question. Anyway, same he, he and I have been doing this back and forth for two days nonstop, and it's escalated into, like, absurd shit. Like, we can't wake up and communicate without attempting it. Yeah. It's ruined my like two three days <laughs> it's actually been all consuming i'm not even kidding you this it's is been like horrible josh, this is like josh living with ptsd in anthony's home after you came into the shower to like scare him and so i did out. i had my phone out and he was in the shower and i took a stress ball and i was filming and i opened the shower and then threw it at his face <laughs> why oh because he's an emotional terrorist oh gotcha <laughs> yeah. Be because because it's my fun house of fun that, that he li was living in. Do you know he took a hammer to my wall once? Do you know about that story? No. That was true. Yeah, he took a hammer, walked into my room, and made a hole in the drywall while I was I was listening to music in Why? my bed. Why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Is that like a funny bit to you? Like, <laughs> his house? It, was, it was, in fairness, really funny. My goat. My goat <laughs> says the truth when he, when he needs to say it. An Anthony DM'd me like two nights ago, and he... Like, not in public chat, not a group chat. He just DM'd me two nights ago, and he's like, I've been taking very interesting dumps recently. <laughs> that was yeah. the whole deal. Yeah. yeah, I was just saying, because, like, it was so, it had, like, this weird curve, like, a hook at the end, like a Pikmin. It was crazy looking. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. Wait, did you take a picture? I didn't. I just remember, and I was like, Nick's gonna want to hear this. I'll put you in the group chat, this is and good. we can all talk about I'd, it. I would let's like make, to let's I, be clear. You could just make this a chat with Aiden. And I think you'll both benefit. <laughs> no, from I this. think you yeah, should. I think you should be in the chat though, because you, you, you should be in the chat. You should be in the chat. You should be in the chat too. I shouldn't be in the chat. You should be in the chat. You know me. I want to be in the chat. Thank you. All right, Pikmin. Pikmin right? poops yeah, If you want to. <laughs> I'm just trying to fit it. Have, have, have you ever been we interviewed? Learn shits, right? Yeah, like, I love shit. Have you ever been interviewed in your whole life? A job interview? No, 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 like, like, like an interview. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay, well, I want to still ask you some of the interview questions. Where does Squeaks come from? Oh, shit. Uh -oh. It come, no, imagine if it has like some racist backstory. <laughs> no, it, uh, I, I was 14 to, playing CSGO. I, that's, exactly, that's actually the start of the story. I'm not. Even, but when I was 14, uh, 
Do you guys remember when like people didn't have mics in multiplayer games? Yeah. And then there was like one day where people just started buying them. So this is Turtle when I was, like, Beach. Change the game. Yeah, like Turtle yeah, Beach Titan and all this shit. Titan rich. <laughs> Titan if you're really rich. Because yeah. I remember getting a mic and you had to tape it to your shirt. Like with like scotch tape. What? So I, I did don't, this. Don't say I remember that like we were all doing this. <laughs> right guys? We're all the <laughs> same age. <laughs> you, was, you had a scotch tape Call of Duty mic? Yeah. No, but it was like for Counter-Strike. So, I, so I it was it the long like Windows mic that's all shitty? It was like that, but you're supposed to put it on your ear. Oh. Oh. Like it was like sort of like the Britney Spears like concert mic. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And it had a little hook, but the hook you couldn't I wear headphones. To, when I first started playing Call of Duty on uh, PlayStation, I had a mic stand with a rock band mic on it that ah. I, put, I put between my legs. And I just pl- I used that. I had no really? headset. My audio was through my TV. I so you had tr- to balance it like while playing. <laughs> no, no it, the mic stand held it up, but it was just like the only way to because it didn't have an arm. So I just had to keep oh, it between my so legs, funny. so it was straight in front of my mouth. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. It's For, awful. Like, yeah, I can't imagine. The kids had it good. They got where did squeaks come shit? from in this? Because the squeaker? first time I spoke, yeah, I was like a little squeaker. No one talked about age or whatever. So now it's like kind of I've just stuck with that name forever. I think it's a good one. Weeks. It's but a good one. Though. I heard nor- I heard this through the grapevine. I didn't mm-hmm. see it, this clip or anything, but Northern Lion I, apparently has said, you getting big has been monstrous for his chat. <laughs> yeah. Because you let people run over you yeah. with the bald thing. But I, I think that <laughs> I come from that from a place of power. Like, I'm very, mm. I'm confident. And like... And I know, like, this is, like, a copium. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still stuck on, I come from a place of power. You know, I think, <laughs> what? I think letting Are you people... talking about banking or Mumbai? Which <laughs> <one> is... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, letting people say what they want uh-huh. and, like, not being affected by it, I think is a strength. Yeah, I think if you're forged in the fires of Counter-Strike, yeah. that's, that's you've probably true. been called some of the worst things on the planet. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, well, like, I agree cares? with you. I agree with you as a whole, and I have the same philosophy, and Slime is the opposite of this. He's the antithesis who bans on site if anyone says something mean. I'm scared to talk in his chat, and I've, I've no. like, I swear to God, I've been in your chat, I've like, don't ever be afraid. I'm no. terrified. You t- what? I what? know, I feel like I know, but still, I'm scared. Why would you feel like that? What did you do? Hey, so what, squeeze what here. Pop- it's round 13, <laughs> you dipshit. Oh, just say hi to me when I'm focusing on the game. It's fun, say hi. No. Oh, did you want your crumb? Here's your crumb. Hi. Hi, 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 Slime, what rank are you right now? Look at the fucking screen. Oh, it's, uh, I think that's a dumb question. Slime, Slime it, doesn't, it doesn't show it on the screen anymore. Dude, you have to wait. Some guy today, I was restreaming top eight at Gommel, and someone was like, dude, please turn on theater mode. And I'm like, get that ass banned. Don't ever tell me how to do anything ever, ever in your life. And then I was like, how do I turn on theater mode? And then I clicked on it, I was like, oh, this is way better. <laughs> but stay banned. But stay banned. I didn't ask For you. the principal, exactly. Wait, but why, why do you do that? Like, why? Because I, I have this fucked up problem in my head where I imagine everyone just in front of me saying it, like uh. a real human being fucking should. And I can't divorce no, that. No, no, no. So, no, you, so don't call it, oh, I'm wrong. Don't call yeah. it. Because we started out you, with computers. You called the problem. The problem. And then said how everyone is wrong besides you. But, what, but I don't like how he's saying like it's fucking normal. <laughs> oh, you're because you're imagining him saying it to your face. And I am saying it to your face. That's it's, it was silly to, he, to say that. I'm saying that we did not start out the game of life. Looking at a big chat of people calling you a cocksucker. We yeah, didn't do that. That's true. And so, but you're saying no. You just got to let them do that. And it's you like don't no. You have to let them do that, but you don't have to let it affect you so much that it can well, don't potentially bring down the vibes. Mm. You're a vibes guy. You have to be a vibes guy. That's because you guys are career streamers. You are sucked into the black sarcophagus that is uh, no, being nice to chat, no. so they support you. Are you following? That's not true. I don't think I, I don't. I don't see myself as that at all. I don't I'm see myself nice. like that either. I don't see. I don't see you like that either. <laughs> right. Like me, <laughs> please. I like how Squeaks is becoming a Rorschach for all of our insecurities. <laughs> I'm a doctor. It's, a, it's like the yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Go ahead, slime. Oh, wow, you're doing that <laughs> way too quick. Go ahead, add slime on Twitter. Go with a different doctor. Freud, maybe Freud. <laughs> you're a doctor of any any kind. Yeah, doctor. Yeah. Oppenheimer is fine too. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my big beef with the idea is that streaming naturally you have to be like. Oh, thanks for the sub. You did say you wanted to kill me in the street, but thank you, because you have to, right, to an extent. And I think that's gross. But if there's one thing I understand, and I don't understand, like, obviously, I'm not trying to speak, like, down on anybody, but I would say that if there's one type of chatter I understand, it's the chatter that wants to be heard. 
Like, and that's through any means necessary that's because that's what streamers mm -hmm. do. Like, oh, we will say things to to get a reaction. So how can we not be understanding of the chatter that has the same inclination? Wow. But like, if they're mean to you. I mean, you, but you're mean to them too. So Only it's like this, I never shoot first though. I yeah, guess. But sometimes when you shoot back, you don't understand that you got a buckshot. Yeah, because I got a gun so big, <laughs> yeah. that yeah. shit don't work. Yeah. The blood from the person you shot gets on everybody's hands. Yeah, you're never talking to one person. Because mm, someone else, true, I someone am. else, sometimes someone else is thinking of the thing someone else said, mm. and when you dog them okay. for like theater mode, they're like, "Oh, maybe I should just." Homer, and that's why Homer you get a squeak who's scared of typing your chat. I'm very, I'm not even kidding you. That's crazy. Why would you be scared at me? I have occasionally thought something that someone's typed in your chat, and then you've snapped that's it. That's happened them. to me before. Yeah, and someone says something I'm thinking, but they just say it. Yeah, and then he bans them, and I'm like. Whew. <laughs> I will Same. say, past, past, past couple streams have been really nice. Everyone's been great. Maybe, That's great. I, maybe I finally programmed them. Maybe, it, I think it's because less Valo too. You've well, also at least today. You've also banned everyone you don't like. So. Yeah, but no, they keep coming. It's like it's like zombie bros. Yeah, yeah. Nazi zombies. It's like the same shit. It don't you end, can't stop. Just new rounds. Enough about me. Did it happen gradually when you got blown up, or did what? it happen a big time right in the like, oh, first? like the blow up? Yeah. Oh, it happened way like too fast. Really? It happened like very, very quickly. Yeah. What'd you, what was like your number? What'd you go from to? Oh, so I got partner like two years ago to, or so. And I was at 75 for like a year and then 500. And then it went to a thousand for like maybe a month. And then it was like 2000 plus. Holy shit. Yeah. I was like, it's very fast. I'm still trying to get, be like a good streamer to many people. Are you, do you still do your normal job? No, no, I got laid off on uh, Zoom. You guys remember that uh, better, like the Better Mortgage CEO who fired like 900 people over Zoom? You were oh, yeah. in that? I was one of the 900. What? Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there and I was like, well, fuck. I didn't want to be a full time streamer. It was just all but... of you in a group, right? Yeah. Did you, click the, did you click the raise hand button? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the fire emoji spam. Yeah. Like... End, end, of the, end of the meeting and then the CEO just starts going, grab, grab. Yeah. 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 CEO's like, so I gotta pay bills too. <laughs> Fire. No, that's how it was, yeah. Wow. So I never chose to be a full-time streamer this is the origin story of many a streamer i'm getting learning. fired into getting fired into like i guess i'll keep doing the thing because most people who go full-time without that step just never was an adult right? like they mm. lived with their parents and then they went full-time because it's all they ever wanted to do and they never had to do anything else ludwig's been fired from every job he's that's had. not you know true that? no every, every single, single one, goddamn no, one except the ones true. that he's created for himself i also quit <laughs> except I also for the quit. fake jobs I also he has quit. made i quit which job did you quit i quit uh, I, uh no uh, i quit best buy <laughs> no you did yes i did you got fired from Best Buy. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, no, he gets to say that because his manager sexually harassed him. True. Yes, that's what? true. That Are you comfortable Okay, don't say it like that? that. I've talked about it. He tried to fuck me. Oh. <laughs> we went out for drinks and he groped me. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. Did okay. your, did, did, then did fine. The, did, that the, counts. did the mortgage person ever do that? <laughs> it was all remote. So it was more of just <laughs> like, like I am groping you right now. <laughs> with a little do, like barking. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> it was role play. Yes. <laughs> no, I did not have to deal with that. I was there for like a year and a half. Wow. Working at home. Dude, then, it's, yeah. I, I I think I remember when you started blowing up the other day ago, nice. Damn. Oh, so the bugs, bro. He slapped himself good. He's still Whoa. mad about fear and that's all right. Don't You're buy your nasty, nasty do cow. I don't think you should do that. You're a nasty cow. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, you, when you started getting really big, and, like I'd see clips and I was like, oh, who's this guy? And I watched a clip, I was like, oh, he's actually funny. And I have this insane <laughs> amount of contempt for like most big streamers, Humans, like streamers, people. Sure, sure. Sure. people. Yeah. Not people. Breeders, <laughs> people. <laughs> Anyone without a chatters. What I was saying. Uber drivers. I don't have contempt for Uber drivers. Uh, union they members. shouldn't. Yeah. Union members do need to people stop. People from Turkey. Yeah. No! <laughs> those in, they'll they'll those save in unions, us all! <laughs> those in unions. <laughs> yeah. um, Listen, I was saying, I was like, oh, and everyone is freaking out. Every every squeaks clip is like, this guy is fucking next up, bro. Because they're all like, they're all like <laughs> cock watching all the time. Yeah. They're like, he's so next up. This guy, definitely next up. And it's like, okay. But I was like, this makes sense because they have just never seen someone who's like naturally has like charisma of like a normal human Riz. before. You have Riz. Riz. I have Riz. You do that have Riz. That means so much. I'm I not have, even kidding he you. He hates Riz. He I hates hate him. Riz. But Wait. I realize the more I say it, the faster it will die. But it means a lot. Because you, you it means it? a lot because nobody's ever even thought of Oh, is that why you hate it? 
It's like one of those like probably I hate really hot girls. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> especially if they try to fuck me all yeah. the time. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I love this. <laughs> I'll do anything for you. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, that's cool. So I was like, no, it's finally. cool. I've been very lucky for sure, and I've been a huge fan of Twitch and streaming forever. So it's really cool. Who are your to be... top stream? Who do you love watching right now? Yeah, uh, I like watching like Moon Moon, Daff, Clint. Uh, I like watching. You don't have to go to the fucking bottom of the barrel with a guy who never is true. Clint's no, Clint's on Mount Rushmore. Clint's he's on Mount Rushmore. He hasn't been live in eight months. Beside mm, the point. Yeah, but he did a final. What, what, he doing all that shit? Shit? <laughs> what, what are you doing all the time? What are you doing all the time? Yeah, sidetrack. What would he do? Clint, Clint, not a happy guy. Well, at least he's not happy being a streamer. I don't think he wants to do it as a career. It just happens that he kind of banked it. He's the Bo Burnham of streaming. Real shit. But uh, do you feel like that makes you like him more? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. He's too. like a cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they avoid you, and we want him to go live. We're like, oh, come in, and then and then he'll like he'll be like sponsored Final Fantasy stream. And you're like, oh, and then he like leaves for another eight months. <laughs> but he he likes uh, he writes, he writes, he hangs out with friends. I think he just wants to be a normal dude and not a streamer. But he has a, a, a normal amount of charisma as a human being, and all of a sudden, because Twitch is so devoid of that, they're like, <gasps> <laughs> and he's on Mount Rushmore. Yeah. But he deserves it. He no, deserves it. I feel like it's, well, as Ludwig was saying, like, it's if someone doesn't, looks a little miserable, people are attracted to that. Because, like, all of my favorite streamers almost look like they don't want to stream. Do you know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. something to that they that I can't articulate. want to be there. But yeah, but it makes them so funny because whenever they try, it's like, oh, I'm part of it. You know? Is, yeah. is that why people like Forzin? Because any Forzin clip I've ever seen, he just looks like a, just like a caveman on the verge of death. And that's every clip. Yeah. Is I think that, we talked about risk? this. We're like for a long time, like the old guard of Twitch, like the people who were the biggest were all people whose communities were so insular that if you'd watched it with no understanding of Twitch, you would feel like, how is this popular? What the <laughs> fuck is going on? What are they saying in chat? But that's kind of how they liked it because it excluded, you know, like your basic normie from watching. Yeah. Which I, I've always hated. So I've just been a. You've been the normie streamer. I have. You champion the normie. Because I always thought it was lame. Because I would tune in, and then, you know, everyone, like, dick checks if you know the right emote to use, and if you spell it wrong, you get lolled Gray at. Gray face, no space? <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Well, that's way OG, but... That's, like, that's a really old <laughs> yeah, reference. Like, I know. Yeah. 2002. <laughs> no but one knows what I mean when I say Kipo. 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 Yeah, nobody yeah. uses Kipo, No one bro. uses Kipo. Kipo's so I good. I love it's Kipo. It's wave. I, I mean, I remember when Kipo. Ludwig was blowing up. I hated that. I hated him for, like, a while. You hated Dubbin? Oh. Why did you hate him? Because I felt like he was like... All of us hated Ludwig when we met him, by the way. Oh, really? I didn't thread. hate him. He treated me good. Well, I mean, I only knew him as like a streamer. So like, I was like, oh, who the fuck is this new guy who like does YouTube shit? Like, I want the D-Gen force in or whatever. But then over time, I think any new person gets like ingratiated in the Twitch culture. You end up, you know, being like, oh, okay. I, I They're like human beings. Yeah. yeah. And then well, we met in person and we, we were... Well, and then, <laughs> yeah, like so much. and then he did one of these, and then I was like, "Wow, he's insufferable." <laughs> that, that's what Ludwig Ludwig will reveal, I, and I think it's like it's not necessarily obvious on stream, but you hang out with him, and you're like, "Oh, this guy's a degenerate, actually, still <laughs> to this day." Like he's just down to run. Ludwig Birio. is the yeah. least degenerate of us four by far. I think mm, should have seen me in Birio last night. That's what I'm saying. He'll still he, get like shit face because he feels like a four round tournament where they're sinking at least two beers around. <laughs> I guess I'm just saying and he like, won. Like, wakes up at like eight, goes on a like a walk. He, he runs. He works out. Yeah, I do that so he I likes can do the that. sunset. I get my walks in and my reps in so I can get my beers in and crush everybody like you. But have you all, have you always been like that or is that something new? Like, like fitness? Like fitness and waking up early and being like well adjusted. It's what a, I choose to focus curve. on changes, but like when I was in college, I made a YouTube channel called Self Improvement where I wanted to learn Japanese and I wanted to get really hot and fit and run every day. And uh, also learn the piano. And I'd upload daily, like, vlogs about it. Wow. I did it for three days. My mom sent me a text. I love the channel. I deleted everything. That's so good. And <laughs> never, ever, ever told anyone about it again. Uh, but, so, I've been doing it since then. And I didn't have, like, a channel or anything then. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. He was, yeah, he's pushing, count. pulling metal objects to receive love, like most of us. But that's, that's, I, I think that's always been a thing. I met Ludwig and he was, like, a workout guy. But he yeah. was also a guy that would, like, show you his balls if he had three beers. He preferred butthole, but he would show you your balls, yeah. Yeah, geez. I've toned on that. Yes, you have. I show less of my body. Well, also, because you got to consider, like, last night we played Birio. Half the people at this party were just employees. 
<laughs> you can't. So I can't. We walk into the fucking the office. Aiden is just in his shorts, shirt off, grunting, playing Slippy. Yeah. Just like, and, and dude, <laughs> Ludwig's he, like, we he, need more women. He treats here, this bro. place like his fucking bedroom, bro. Uh-huh. It's crazy. <laughs> more women would keep you honest. I'm just shirtless. I'm not doing anything I crazy. Work. And grunting. You were like a swollen pig. Yeah. Because I really needed to beat X-Ray, the fox player. <laughs> and that's my goat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a commitment, I guess. Yeah. I'm a clean little piggy, by the way. I'm a, uh, Everybody, the, the office has been, looked like shit lately. Yeah, you're shirtless at work. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's the part we're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the narrative changes, you but may, you're sure. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're still oinking. Uh, yeah. and I, clean, I clean myself like real pigs. Like real and clean And you have 30-minute orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just shake, like, violently. Oh. Have you ever had a 30-minute orgasm squeak? <laughs> My orgasms are short and sweet. <laughs> right to the point, oh. no, you know. What a, what a presidential no, answer. That's a Barack Obama would answer the, that. What is the point? I have an orgasm. Yeah, is, the, is the point the nut or the mind? Whoa. The point you know is to I mean? reproduce. Yeah, that is true. Based. And that's why it feels good. Efficiency. It's it all biological. So, so when you say you're right to the point, you're saying you're always reproducing when you orgasm. <laughs> well, no. I guess it's the pleasure. It's just like, you kind of feel that shame after. You're like, all right, I'm done now. Let's like move on to something else. Yeah, let's, but, let's like learn a skill. Yeah. Yeah. And like, then, no, yeah, I speed run the orgasm <laughs> because I got to do other shit with my time. So that's, oh, that's yeah. my philosophy Those with coming. Speed run an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you have dreams in which you wake up and you've nutted? Wet dreams? <laughs> Nocturnal emissions. Wait! <laughs> I found out <laughs> Bro. that nocturnal emissions can happen based off the feng shui of your room. So Dude. if your feet are positioned what to a that? bathroom... What is that? You don't need to make excuses. <laughs> I'm like, we're adults. Excuses. This is like, dude, I actually found out I'm a Pisces, and, like, everything kind of makes sense now. Yeah, or it's more like, I found out I'm a Pisces, and Pisces actually have really, like... Tiny dicks, and it's fine. You like, guys need more women on your podcast. Can I just say it? Like, you, you, you guys are talking p- poor Eamon about not wearing a shirt. Meanwhile, you're talking about cum and nocturnal Wait, emissions. Wait, cum is natural. We're not wearing a shirt is not natural. Yeah, that's true. Right. Everyone's born with a shirt. And, and second off, <laughs> I it's a problem I have. So I guess, if, uh, do I need a woman to talk about my problems? Uh, no, but there's a, you know, there's an eloquent and I, delicate way to bring it I up. I've cummed and be- myself several times. Several while times, sleeping. Squeaks. He's cummed himself. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. He's cummed himself factory. Oh, I didn't know this was a gentleman's podcast. Go ahead. Go ahead. Proceed. Proceed. Thank you. Thank you, yes. thank you sir. Oh, thank you. Like the that. chair will not be interrupted <laughs> again. <laughs> mm, got Go ahead, please. I reclaim my time. <laughs> so... I, there's a guy on on like TikTok and YouTube Shorts who <laughs> does feng shui and he makes little plastic models of people's homes and they'll, and someone will be like, my bedroom's so tiny, and then I'll be like, no, it's not. Just do this. Add a dresser, <laughs> split it with the curtain, and now you have a good room. Now you know. And you're gonna nut real nice. <laughs> you go to bed. I love watching his videos and he does one and someone's like, my room sucks. There's no place to put my bed but here. And he's like, no, you're not, you dumbass. You do this, 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 and your bed's here. And you should never put your bed here because then you have a nocturnal emission if you're feet to the to the bathroom what? and i was like oh, no I, and maybe that's why i come and then maybe that's why you haven't had one in a long time because my because you're no feet longer face the bedroom. face your feet face wait, true north your, wait your feet have never pointed towards a bathroom well in the subathon it did in the subathon when he came his oh, pants at my yeah. house when he feet slept to the over way, feet to the ba- yeah, in my studio apartment to, to the bathroom i should say yeah yeah we had to get a check to flight so, and he was just full up anyway if anyone's having the diaper. same issues as i am which is a real debilitating problem to come in your sleep i don't recognize it i'm sorry call me old fashioned <laughs> I, I take no part in this this pity party he was ra- raised a traditional family <sighs> like this is also like is this not like bullshit are we pretending <laughs> Pointing your feet to the bathroom? It's real. I mean, it could be real. What do we know? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you, do you believe in ghosts? No. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, definitely. Do you believe in ghosts? No. I believe in ghosts. Me too. He's 50 50. Yeah. You wow. can't be 50 50. I'm 50 50. You have to no, 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 tie the, you have This to, is the real test. You have to break the tie. If you, are, if you are in your house and you hear something ghostly happen, <laughs> explain <laughs> explain ghosts. Anyways, so, that's a circular definition. No, no, no. You can, use, you can use ghosts in the definition that's of ghosts. That's a circular definition. No, no, no. So you're in your house, you feel something very ghostly happen, and you're scared now. You, you just come home from a scary movie, okay? and something ghostly happens in your home. Do you think it's a ghost or not? Can you? But you're you're using the word just ghost. It's a, like, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Here's, here's an easier yeah, one. If it's giving ghost vibes, yeah. do you think it's a ghost? No. I would think- Then like, you don't believe in ghosts. No, I don't. I, I'm, no, because I wouldn't be like shocked. 
Like, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, that's total bullshit. IRL stream. Would you go to the most haunted place on earth? You get a guaranteed 50k viewers. Yeah, I would. Of course. Of course. Bagman. Bagman looks for a bag. And there's a sign on the outside that says you're guaranteed to get cursed from coming here. I'd still go. Of okay, you, you don't believe in ghosts. Okay, he doesn't believe in ghosts. That's what I'm saying. He changed his answer, Wait, but I added the 50k. would you not go? No. That's fucking no. bullshit. That's, That's just liar. fucking true. No, you're a stupid ass no, dirty liar. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. You're lying. I don't fuck with the ghosts. Are there, yeah. Wait, are there women there who are cursed that I can rescue? <laughs> I would oh, go hero. if I could bring... Is the girl reading this there? <laughs> I would go if I could bring someone to protect or save the ghosts. So if you had to save Cutie from a haunted ghost castle... <laughs> I would save her from the okay, haunted ghost castle. Okay, if Cutie was trapped in a haunted ghost castle... That she would have yeah. had to fuck up tremendously to get in that situation. She, she <laughs> would, her life is ar arguably spent avoiding that situation exactly. If she, she is there but she, not on a plane to Europe, like, what happened to us? <laughs> 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 yeah, so, look, ghosts... You you keep saying you're agnostic, but you're yeah. not because you you would do it for fifty no, thousand viewers. He says he's agnostic, but he also said he would repent to God on his deathbed. Oh I yeah, would. it wants to cover all the bases. Just, I just, just in case, me, just in case. Why yeah. not? It's like it costs me nothing. I'll be sitting there ready to die and be like, you know what? Uh, praise whoever. What okay. if the true What if the true religion is being a Satanist, uh, Baphomet, Baphomet, mm. Lord of the Flies, <laughs> and he is ours. That's like a half bathroom. It, it, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a probability <laughs> equation. You know what I mean? Like, what are the chances of that, that versus, Baphomet, like, a world... The lieutenant of what, hell is the one that what, we see yeah, in like, What's the prisoner's dilemma on on repenting before you pass on? It's a good question, yeah. I like the idea that God, who created the entire universe and DNA and your eyes, is like, you get to the heaven and he's, like, just stumped. He's yeah. like, oh, you accepted me wow. at the end. I guess it counts. Wow. It does count. He can't, he well, can't I see did no. leave this, It's a technicality. I did leave this giant loophole and never closed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's like paperwork. He's like, come counts. on, come in, He's fuckers. like, I'll, I'll overlook the time you tried to make a pocket pussy out of a sponge. <laughs> uh, because you accepted me in the end. Because you made a real pocket pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I got you. <laughs> the sponge. <laughs> welcome to heaven, welcome, baby. Welcome to heaven, heaven bitch. bitch. I don't want to go to heaven if there's no sponge pussy. That's for damn sure. <laughs> it's not my habit. That's actually a quote from the SpongeBob movie. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh. You guys can get chef crafted recipes if you guys use HelloFresh or something I've been using. You've been using it. I'd be cooking with it. You be cooking work. Like Cody, I get it. You be <laughs> uh, anyway, HelloFresh is cool because if you're bad at cooking, they teach you how to cook because they give you all the ingredients. You got to go to a grocery store and they get all portion it out. out. You can pick your meals online. You can pick your favorite thing. Wait, what's your favorite thing? They don't sell lollipops though. Aiden, I'm, so. I just get porridge. I'm just saying, why do we why do we give kids training wheels for bikes, but not adults for cooking? Just That's four meals a day. Well, HelloFresh does. It's Porridge. backyard bratwurst bar. It's tangy key Six lime pie. Six days a week. It's and barbecue then pineapple flatbreads. Don't be like Aiden and eat porridge. <laughs> it's weird. You 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 eat like a Charles Dickens character. You don't have to. You just you have HelloFresh. You don't. We we make too and much. You realize for they you. have over forty weekly recipes, People and all were you're picking is porridge. Back then. People were stronger back then because they were false. hardened, it's and all they ate was porridge. Okay, what people did back then is they died at Two 30. Two ingredients! No time on that one! They'd give them <laughs> cigarettes to fix their depression. Look, you choose from over 100 items to round out your order. You can have snacks, easy lunches. You don't have to be a chimney sweep. You don't have to die at 30. You can just eat HelloFresh. It's 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 HelloFresh. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it, it, keep it simple for you, Aiden, because I want you to stop eating porridge. I think it's making you shape weird. Uh, HelloFresh.com/slash/theyard50 and use code theyard50 for fifty percent off plus free shipping. Don't say whatever you're gonna say. Don't say that's HelloFresh.com/slash/theyard50. Use code theyard50 for America's number one meal kit. It does not include porridge, and I don't care what you're gonna say. Go back to the 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 No, but it's just I have this theory where if you believe in ghosts, logically you should also believe in aliens. Nope. Aliens are so much I, more I, I bite the easy logic. to believe. Wait, what's yeah, that? Explain this. That's his argument. Because if we're looking at like the probability that aliens are real is so much higher. Yeah. So I think it makes sense to believe in aliens and not believe in ghosts or believe in aliens and believe in so ghosts. So if I could distill what you're saying down even more simply, mm. if you believe in ghosts, then you also should believe in anything less probable than ghosts more existing. Probable. More, more probable. probable. Or more probable. That's what I meant. Correct. More probable. Correct. Yeah. That's, I think that's crazy. I think, so. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Uh, Cause we had the same conversation last night and I came to the same conclusion I was like, yeah, if you're dumb enough to believe in ghosts, you should be dumb enough to believe in aliens, which well, isn't a dumb thing, should really. Should he believe in Q? Q. Is Q less or more believable than ghosts? Dude, it's more probable for sure. 
I think it's, it's less ghosts. Ghosts. Hold on. Because like, yes. Because it's like human <laughs> beings. <laughs> ghosts or aliens. I'm, I'm losing track. Welcome to Joe Robin. <laughs> Dude, we'd be so good at that shit. <laughs> Just conspiracy theories? You guys say we're in simulation? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. Do you think you I'm You actually know it's more likely that we're in a simulation because because if we're in uh, the amount of years and science progresses. Oh. <laughs> so. Simulation. Simulation. Dude. Whoa. Joe, are Joe we want you it? to do that. Are we, are we in it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This guy's cool. Jamie, bring this guy, <laughs> bring this guy a sponge pussy. <laughs> <laughs> On it, supplement sponge pussy. That's right. This podcast is brought to you. GMO free. <laughs> fucking, fucking, it comes in a box with a bunch of assorted meat every month. <laughs> I'm down. It, it diffuses violence into the hell of fresh and sponge the last, and the last five MMA fighters I brought on the podcast also use it. They all use it, and they all use it to fight and fuck. <laughs> well, if I see a hot guy doing anything, like on an Instagram ad, or a hot chick, I'm I'm buying the product. Yeah, I'm buying yeah. in. Yeah. I'm, buying in. I'm buying in. Yeah. You know what I hate? I, my chat was doing this today. People who think they're not susceptible to advertising or propaganda. Mm. Okay. Because I, I feel like that makes you so much more susceptible. Hate me then. You think you're not susceptible? Mm, not even a little bit. You're you have wrong. bought things from Instagram last week. Oh, I can't even hear you. I know. <laughs> I can't even hear you. Wait, he's good. Holy <laughs> shit. That's fucking good. <laughs> That's what I'm he says sold. to the advertisers. I take nothing for free. <laughs> <laughs> I have no kidney stones. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Finish that can. You just start screaming in pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wait, cannonball. Wait, what, what are you trying to say, La Anders? I just think that everyone, like you, like being aware of being, I used to think this. I used to think, I was like, that doesn't work on me. I just won't get the thing. <laughs> and then, and then you're like, oh, fuck, I need car insurance. What's a car insurance? And, and the, you remember only, the, the only counter, like the only other thing outside of advertising that I, for me to get knowledge of a product is if I look up the product I want and then I say Reddit and then I try to find <laughs> yeah. a human who has given their opinion in the court of public opinion, which <laughs> also, by the way, is oftentimes filled with marketers who will make fake accounts and fake posts and try to upload Yo, it. Yo, good Chrome extension. It automatically adds Reddit after anything you search. Yeah, but you also have to like parse actual Reddit because like if you look up like what's a good one? Uh, Milk. What's the protein milk one called? Whey protein. Muscle milk? Muscle milk. If you look at muscle milk Reddit, it's all shill posts. Oh, really? 100%. Yeah, I I drank the 40 gram one and I got such big fucking muscles now. (laughs) Yeah. And then skull emoji. Actually, (laughs) it'll be like, damn, how does it taste good but it's 40? Why is nothing else 40? I hear if you buy them from the Birmingham branch. It's less cost. Yeah. And I got W Riz. <laughs> you say Riz so funny. You Riz. Have like a <laughs> <laughs> Your Z? You said like a yo yo sound Z. effect. Yeah. Your Z has like a body to it. You had it. Riz. Riz. That's what it is, isn't yeah. it? How say do I w say Riz? 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 Just say it. Say, w Riz. Say charisma. <laughs> charisma. You're announcing it like a Super Smash Bros. character. Yeah. Char- <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Charisma. I, no, Riz, 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 there's Riz, a little Riz, stink on it. Riz, I see the Riz, smirk thing now. I Riz. see the smirk. I feel like <laughs> I'm being <laughs> fucked with. Yeah, there's nothing to fuck with. Is this how you sold mortgages to poor fuckers who are <laughs> fucking d- d- single B rated? What's the most <laughs> fucked up thing that ever happened to you at a bank? Oh, that I did? That happened? Well, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about it. Be, be honest with me. You, were you the you one made filling it. the tranches? <laughs> were you yeah. filling the tranches? Yeah. <laughs> were you on the synthetic CDO, CDO side? Oh, no. I actually worked at uh, Wells Fargo, and I was making alt accounts for old people. <laughs> <laughs> and just... With just I'm old. I, mean, I didn't care Let's that say. my social got <laughs> stolen. <laughs> well, I mean, most... Okay, here's a real hot take. <clears throat> but I think most financial institutions prey upon older, dumb clients. Okay. So, like, I think most fucked up is just doing your day to day job, which is like trying to trick people into believing you need their service. That's so bad. Yeah. What kind of services? Financial instruments? Anything. <laughs> but all any service in finance is just moving money from one place to another. So it could be like retirement, uh, portfolio management, accounting. It's all sort of like a similar thing. But it's packed in a way for companies to sell a service to uh, to you. Oh. So that's the idea is that finance is just it's a very simple thing. But all the terms we use is because a big company has sold that idea to us. It's like uh, it's like Jonestown. And I'll, I'll, I'll back this up. Jonestown, when it was getting big, which was a cult, he had a church. and He was talking about God and all this stuff. They ended up going to a, a South American country and drinking Kool-Aid and dying. But he basically made old women give them their his house, their houses. Mm. So like Jonestown guy, Jim Jones, I think his name was, just had a shitload of property because these old ladies would be like, "You can have it." 
this is for Christ. <laughs> and he just had like 90 houses and he had a million of what, dollars. That's kind of what Wells Fargo's doing. They're getting old people. They they give you know. Why do they never drink cool? Give me your house in the form of mortgage. Die. Give me die. your house. <laughs> Why does Wells never die? Give me your house, and then we'll we will gun down an American government official on a runway. Which is the Wells Fargo slogan. <laughs> That's where the wagon's going. That's the yeah. wagon logo. <laughs> I don't know if he asked these questions. I, I let that sit because I was like, did Wells Fargo do that? <laughs> no, but Jim Jones' hired guns did it. Which oh. is, and then that's did why Did you look up a Jones documentary this past week or No, more? this is a long no, time ago. He's been on Jones' house. I've been talking about Jones' house a long time. Okay, uh, Polly Matter just dropped this video on Nebula. So. It would be great. I would love another refresher course in, in how Jim Jones got to where he was. You know what you should watch? Wild Wild Country. Have What's you that? seen that? It's about another cult in, a, in Oregon and uh, a lot of like Jonestown similarities. Okay. It's a, really, it's a good watch. <laughs> it's a Jones-like. <laughs> it's very Jones-like, but it's an Indian cult. So it's, uh, it's even better. Oh, I, I actually think it's cool. It's, oh, yeah. I think I support it. Yeah. I support the cult. I support the cult. We're trying to come back from that Dr. K thing. We're like, it sounds cool, or whatever you think it is. I, I agree with or you. Or bad, or neither. Do you know Dr. K? I've talked Not about like, do you know, do you like... No, we're on the WhatsApp groups. <laughs> we're spreading uh, anti-vax minion memes, actually. Is that what you are? That's what we're doing. God. Oh, sheesh. I can't say shit, bro. I, 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 uh, I raided one of your drawers and it had a bunch of fun little bills. Wait, what? Because you had a drawer of stuff. Oh, when, dude, this when is used insane. To, when you used to live in me, you had a drawer of stuff. I think it was yours. It might have been yours. And one of them is you had a bunch of bills from different countries. Oh, yeah. And I was like, these are cool. So I put them in my car because I just like it. <laughs> so you and like you it. stole you money. money. <laughs> you just <laughs> took money. That's what he's trying to say. That was a cute little thing. You stole money. Yeah, I, I, found a, I found a fun little paper you have with the faces on it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just moved out so long ago. I've had it for months. And I was, I was cleaning up some of your stuff. And I noticed you had some, some bills, lad. So I took them and I put them in my car. And one of them was, was, uh, was a rupee, uh, which, is, which is the currency of India. And I had that in my car. And my car got... Uh, clean I got it detailed and they put everything in like the what you call that the, that, glove, the box. Glove, glove box and I opened the glove box because I got I got pulled over or something and it, and it fell out and so when I go to drive with squeaks he comes sits in the car and he gets up and he like looks down <laughs> and just pulls up a rupee and he's like he's like is this some fucking joke? Yeah, it's like, do you want me to park your car <laughs> like, what are you doing <laughs> what is this and it's so hard to explain how this is all serendipitous and I did not, as a joke, get rupees oh. from the bank. <laughs> uh, okay, to the candy grab. <laughs> I would say from a probability span standpoint, that is such an unlikely story. It's, you just it's took more my likely. Money. <laughs> it's more no, likely this isn't about you right now. It's about Ludwig and his adventure. And that's the sweetheart. That, it's just some rupees. Yeah. Right, we, can, we can get some more. It, it, it's more likely than ghosts. <laughs> that story. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Did you find all those British pounds? Yeah. 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 I was wondering about those. A lot of British pounds. Like a couple there. hundred British pounds. A lot of British the, pounds in my Those possession. are his. Those are from the company. I was gonna... But you probably had some pounds yourself with the queen on them. May God rest her soul. God rest her hell. soul. In hell. No. Well, oh. She's, she was saved. She was saved? Yeah, by oh, God. At the end of the day? God save the queen. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, true. She oh, saved. Lord. She repented. She, yeah, she, yeah, she ran the squeak <laughs> strat. She's like, first time in nine years? I didn't believe in them. <laughs> but, oh, Me and my corgis were bing chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got sick. Wait, so why do you collect uh, money? <laughs> like, is that, isn't that a weird thing that you have every currency in no, a drawer? No, he's an international bear. I, I just traveled a bunch. His and, dad's uh, a pilot. I keep, I, I keep all the leftover money I have in case uh, I go back. Or want a snack, Oh, maybe. that's sweet. That's yeah. like, okay, I thought it was going to be like some like weird like, no. collector's uh, item. No, I oh, just have cool. like having all the currency. It's oh. nice. I respect that. You had a little less now, but... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know you were stealing from me. It's it was good to find out. It was just a small. Thank you. you what, did, where did it go? You can just give it back to he him. He took it and he just kept saying, well, "Look what Ludwig had in his car." He started tip me rupees. <laughs> I, I made it a bit so every time we'd get coffee, I'd be like, "Should I tip him?" Five hundred of these. That's, a, that's literally where it's now in like my drawer. Or and, it's, and it's so crinkled, so I, I don't think you want. I haven't even been to India. That's like a gift from my dad. Oh, <laughs> I got your Indian currency. 
Well, now it's touched by an Indian. <laughs> it's really yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh, thank you for the making it more. activated. You cannot <laughs> use it. Yeah. And it's like, now I kind of like it. When it's you, it's like when you get a new credit card in, in the mail and you have to like call the number it on the site or call yeah. the number. Yeah. Yeah. Have an like, Indian bless this. Yeah. <laughs> I can run a real scam like that. Actually. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a great idea. How's the juvie making you feel? You vibrating? Oh, I'm sometimes, vibrating. Yeah, sometimes I vibrate. Feel? Oh, stone. Stoned up? <laughs> yeah, my kidneys stoned. feel stone. I don't do energy drinks. <laughs> this is my first energy drink since college. It was really? like 14 years ago. Oh yeah. Do you God. do anything? Do you drink? Like drink alcohol? Yeah. Yeah, I drink Slow. alcohol. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you guys Slow. were drinking last night. Yeah, we were You we were, were bickering drunk. about Birio. What the fuck I happened? I crushed. God, I was a legend. It's just so cringe to me. Just, which, that, which Mario Kart? Uh, eight. Okay. Eight I won deluxe. double dash a couple weeks ago in a tournament. Won eight today. I just can't be stopped in that game. Yeah, but he's so it's so embarrassing because he'll like bring like he he walked up to everybody at this party <laughs> and was like, write your name down, write your rating, and I'm gonna do seating. And Ludwig's doing all this all this preparation, all this work, and then he wins the tournament and leaves. You got <laughs> did he seat, like, did you, you seed you yourself first? first? Uh, I, I had four top seeds, so it didn't matter. It was group stage. So there were four <laughs> top seeds and then a second, third, fourth with them. I mean you got a seed. I know, I you get what you're seed. saying. You gotta seed. But you have to seed. Look, you're talking I went to the, the wrong group. You're I, talking to the wrong group. I, I, it is kind of cringe. I only went to the party to play Birio. <laughs> I, I got word that Birio was at the function, and that, that's the only reason I went. I instantly go to everyone and say, who wants to play Birio? I got 16 yeses. Everyone gives me their rating. Oof. I seeded four groups of four people. Top two move on, bottom two eliminated. What we is rating? Is there a W, like WBR? Rate like, yourself out of 10 right now in Birio. That was it. Okay. And then people would like be honest. What there did, is rating. What did you rate yourself? <laughs> Out of 10. Me? Yeah. Oh, like a three. I just, I'm good at Mario Kart. I'm just so bad at drinking. Like, I can't chug. It just hurts my throat. Raise yourself did, a four. Did you I would make, give you a three. A four? Okay. Did you, make a, did you make a chill launch bracket? Uh, no, because I couldn't log in because they removed Twitter logins on it, uh, which was kind of annoying. Oh, I didn't really? know that. Yeah, you can only log in with Facebook and uh, Discord, but it wouldn't log in. So, you, so would you rate yourself, Ludwig, eight. a 10? Eight out of 10. <laughs> Is Yingling... Is that in the group or in the world? Uh, just... In, in like my mind I didn't think of the group specifically Who's but a I, 10 that you know? Mango Really? Mango's a 10 At Birio? Yeah I feel like the more useful yeah. skill is drinking in Birio, right? And Clearly he, he has that down Yeah is, What's Yingling? Uh, Yingo's I think probably an 8 Okay I mean I beat him when we, went, when we played It just depends on the game Who? With the Mario yeah. Kart? Yeah, absolutely Do you think you'd crush MK Wii? I, yeah, I thought I kind of assumed you guys were playing we because the videos or in challenges you'd been doing recently were we mm -hmm. oh. so uh, uh, that was part of the reason why I was excited to come even late just to see what was going on. And I was like, well, if you said I could thug finals and I was like, I wonder what's a fair way to do that. And I was like, I think if I have to drink two beers a race, like I can st I will still win. That's so oh, tight. Wow. We? He, he used to play competitive Mario Kart. But, oh, like but, a speed run? Or? Uh, no, like ver you could do, so there's like two versions of competing in Mario Kart. You can time trial mm. or you can compete in like versus, versus races. And oh, there's cool. like different formats for that. Uh, and I used to do that a ton. And uh, super, I, I think Mario Kart Wii is like the, the fucking melee of Mario Kart in terms of like skill set that you apply to the game when you play it. Uh, but the one you guys were playing last night is also fucking huge. Yeah. So well, I it's love an, Mario Kart Wii. Bait. I yeah. think it's just a good game. Yeah. They just added everything. Mario Kart Eight. Yeah. There's so many damn maps. Hey, aren't you sick of it? Like I, I feel I like it's been either. out for since the Wii. Like, hey guys, Wii Wave Seven. Wave Seven's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and three of them are Mario Kart Tour maps, I think, which are dog shit. I think it's better to have one game that just has everything is getting updated than like necessarily come out with a new one on i a think it would schedule. be nice to have a new one because this one blows the mechanics it blows. Suck. it's not it fun to play, play. It's, play. A, it's a shitty i Mario don't have Kart fun game. playing it two man. goats three goats it's the most, it, is it. The, it is probably the most boring out of like the last five this is crazy i like it it's also don't you like you the, know how the, you, you know, know this like the is new Mario eight, Party too though, right? so eight on the Wii U is this game <coughs> that is filled with technical skill. If yeah. you look at all the like speed runs of the top players in eight on from the Wii U version, because you think the games would be like almost one to one. Eight has all this like tech to driving that allows you to like is mechanically demanding, allows you to differentiate yourself from the average player, and they gutted 
all the tech when it came to the really? switch. Really? I, I thought, thought it was one to one. Yeah, I thought no, it was a port. It's not one to one at all. It's not even close. Wow. And fire, the, Wii fire skipping. One, the Wii U one is so much more fun to play because of that. The I eight deluxe is, eight 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 deluxe is the hardest one to be better than the average normie in because the driving is so mechanically lazy. I'm curious to see the numbers, know. like in the, when everything settles and you look at the numbers of like uh, titles sold for the games they dumb down, and you like factor for like. <sighs> the, the, you, you factor for like more gamers in general and you factor for like the switch being a bigger console yeah if it's like that much more like is nintendo winning in their hypothesis that simpler games sell better i think it, yeah it would be i don't even think it's relevant to the average player right i don't mm. think the average person buying mario kart even knows that that stuff was in the wii u version it's right. like this one is the best selling mario kart ever because it's just on the switch and it's a way better but it probably selling. factors no, in the, but it probably no, factors no. into it outcomes it i think mario kart 8 is also just a really dope party game that anyone can pick up and be semi-competent yeah, that's what, at that's but that's good. melee is a game that obviously has insane depth that we play to this day competitively but also normies can fire it up and throw barrels at each and other yeah. so are all the other Mario Kart games. I, Every single other Mario Kart. Nobody. D Double Dash, also a really, really challenging game to play well. Fantastic party. Double game. Dash is really good. Wii's not so good because it can be kind of frustrating because if you bump a wall, you go so slow. We and can we as a normie a game, too. you're uh -huh. saying? As a normie yeah, game? Yeah, as sucks. a normie game, Wii's not that good. You, I think it's kind of bad. A, you hand a motherfucker about the Wii wheel. What was it about having Wii? a good all time? <laughs> also, like even Brawl, it was just like they just started making clunky mechanics for fun. I, I think the mechanics can be good. Like one mechanic is drifting, or what? Or, or no wheelies. Wheelies make you go a little faster, yeah. but if you get hit while you're in a wheelie, you lose all your speed. Yeah, which and is wheelies are good because it's also risk reward of going only straight yes. for speed. And but it's kind of frustrating. And same with like hitting a wall and losing all your speeds. Kind of, there's a lot of frustrating stuff in Wii, and that doesn't exist in Double Dash. Double Dash, you hit a wall and you're like fucking. Yeah, bing. but yeah, it doesn't if, matter. We, were, if yeah. we were talking about what Nick was saying, which you agreed with, Mario Kart Wii was the best selling Mario Kart game by far until the the switch one until the switch one that lasted for a decade uh, yeah and this <laughs> so is it like, seems like it's just console dependent. yeah it's just like what console yeah, it just popular. depends yeah. with like console people console will buy sales. mario kart as a title with the console that's the most popular i mean they also just crush too though like there aren't really many bad i did a tier list of mario kart games there's not many bad ones no they're like all, they're all even good. like the ds ones are fire it's not like mario it's not like mario party yes where mario party has horrible titles and mario party is a good example of a game that i don't think sold the best what on like the this uh, not, uh, not superstars whatever the newest one was like I don't think they that sold the best super super Mario Party. Party. super Mario Party why super. do you guys think that uh, series like aged so poorly or not not poorly yeah, like Mario Party is not what Mario Kart is but I feel like no. at a time they were like w equal to one another in terms of like important in sales because they put gaming. everyone in the car bro. <laughs> yeah, that was well, a while ago. No, that's true. Though. I think they, they forgot. That damn car. I they think, don't know what makes it good. I think, they don't understand. I Mario think that Party. gaming. Well, okay. Of course, the game itself just got way worse. But I think gaming also changed. Where like a lot of the fun of Mario Party is being in the same room, like with your friends and mm. playing a party game. Whereas I think like the net code of a game like Mario Kart like stayed pretty good, and you can play online. It's a very similar experience. Where like Mario Party, I think was meant to like your siblings, your best friends, your neighbors, and like you're in a room. And I think that culture less. left. Yeah. It's not really in gaming anymore. You know what? It's because we're always on our phones. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that's why Mario Kart Tour is out, the mobile one. The biggest earning Mario you, Kart you, ever. You know what's really funny about that game? Because it's just, it just, even looking at it, it looks like the most casual experience imaginable. There's still a subset of people who rock that shit competitively. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and there's like, there's clan wars on Mario Kart Let's Tour. Go. And it's people just like fucking figuring Toad for fucking 30 <laughs> minutes at a time. Just making Toad do backflips. <laughs> Uh, the, prostate. <laughs> the Mario Party speedrunner for the game that you picked up mm. that got popular for a bit that I got the world record in that you never sub to that. You so hard to <laughs> talk. Sorry, he's talking. You know what I'm trying to say? You're absolutely dumb shit. I'm so like, you know which one? Yeah, yeah. Don't look down. I'm looking down. Of course I'm not looking down. Like so. Anyway, that game, the guy who had the world record when we started was this Japanese guy who was like untouchable. Yeah. Uh, and he uh, is just a Mario Kart World Tour fiend. That's like oh, what he, is. he he mains that game. He's one of the best at it. He just has a bunch of records. And he just posts himself on Twitter. He's like, yeah, crushed to the new map. <laughs> it's like, it reminds me of uh, like Clash of Clans, like tournaments where you watch that and it's like a million dollar tournament 
and it's Clash, and they just like they're on like a fucking tablet. Yeah, it's so it, it's so lame. Yeah. I feel like that mobile competition shit. There, I just don't get it. There was this one Clash tournament. I I don't even know why. I I can't remember why I saw it. There was they. You know how in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the original series where they'll stand on like opposite ends of like a football field in like a tower and it's just this like <laughs> yeah. legendary battle between two people, but they're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Clash Royale. There was a Clash Royale tournament that was like that. It was like two kids in a tower oh, on I remember side that. with a fucking phone. And then the phone is just on the thing. Yeah, yeah. and then they, you, they put their phone down like it's like the Sheik tablet in fucking <laughs> in Breath of the Wild. It's so funny because those kids, this is proven by our friend Zeke managing them, don't know how to use a stove. Yeah, they're kids, man. But they're on a stage. They're like 14. They're like, how's the stove work, <laughs> Coach Zeke? And they, and they just stand and they put their fist up and thousands scream. <laughs> like, ah! I don't think they need to know how to use a stove. I think the clash. <laughs> their brains are aging in reverse. Yeah, they're yeah. young little pharaohs. Gen Alpha. They are young pharaohs. They'll be pyramids for the alpha generation. They'll be pyramids. <laughs> every, every member of the alpha generation will have their own pyramid. Yep. They're going clash pyramid. With, their, with, like, a Logitech logo They'll on it. They'll be buried with their digital assets. <laughs> okay, okay, God. Squeaks. So only, you can't include any game that you've ever streamed before okay. in this answer. But you had to pick one game to play against, like, the general streamer, like, audience. Not audience, sorry. Like, streamers. And you, you're guaranteeing you're going to win. What's your game? What's your go-to? Like, this is my game. The general audience? No, no, no like, like, like uh, other streamers. Like, you have to play every streamer in a competition. You have to get first place. Yeah. And it can't be a game you've already streamed. What is your go-to? Oh, fuck. Eden Fallen. Well, I'm, I'm not good at games. He's not. I'm very bad how, at how games. How are you global in Counter-Strike if you're not good at games? Because I'm good at, like, two games total. <laughs> like, Which total. Mario and Counter-Strike? Mario and Counter-Strike. Oh, okay, Everything so else, like, I'm pretty dog shit at. I like, feel I'm okay like, at Tetris. But does that count as one? I'm so old. I feel yeah. like there's, oh, two, there's two types of good gamers. There's somebody who, like, hones a skill set that specifically applies to, like, one type of game. Like, maybe you're somebody who's, like, really, really good at fucking League of Legends. Yeah. And, like, maybe that skill tr skill set translates a bit to a game like Dota. And then there's the god gamers, like Void, who play yeah. a game like League, hit fucking Grandmaster, and then play a game like CS, become the best at that game, play a game like Super Mario, and it just doesn't matter you know because your brain is able to, like, decipher the puzzle of any game no matter what. I've thought what. about this a lot. I think the difference between those two players or those two gamers is the first gamer is, like, Void, for example. The, the this lever in their head, or I guess the, the first gamer, so whoever isn't Void, like, they have a switch in their head that they have to switch on when they want to, like, absorb and learn a system that they can keep off if they want. Like, they can, like, play a game like Mario Kart and just be like, I play this game for fun. I'm never going to switch on that Switch, and I'll just play it casually forever. People like Void can't control that Switch. They are just figuring it out by looking at it. But what's cool about Void is he's not a nerd about it. The, he's still really cool. The, the Pontins meter for Void never runs out. It's just, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's fucking there's always, always There's on. always Bob. There's always a few Bob in the meter. <laughs> Box <laughs> Box is like this, too. Yeah, Box Box is a legend. Box Box is a good Mario He runner might be too. the best gamer. Like, if on, Box Box or someone like Void or Box Box, they, like, make a mistake in a game, it, like, cements in the back of their brain forever, <laughs> and they never forget that mistake, and they don't ever do it again. Whereas, like, a casual player who doesn't think about that, they run into a wall in Mario Kart, they go slower, and they run into walls for the rest of the race, too. And they're, like, they're not even computing what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it just shake, like, shake drizzle. Like Shake like Drizzle Shake, when he plays like Mario Kart Shake Drizzle Deluxe. might be one of the worst beer yo kart players I've ever seen. It's not the beer. It's not the beer. That's what's the, the best excuses of any gamer what's I've ever met. What's his excuses? He'll be, he'll be like, bro, fuck, I lifted today. Oh like, my like, god, bro, it's so like, sick. Dude, bro, I'm not even like, this game fucking sucks. I don't even like this game. Him uh, just uh, dicing him on the melee side. He's like, no, wrong, wrong. Look, his work, he needs to rip it up. Yeah, he rated himself 4 out of 10. If I'm being generous, he's a 2. Wow. He didn't Drift! He didn't know what he drifting was! It's funny because the old that is crazy. It's funny because one, Mario Kart, you're better one is someone who is playing for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> so that, it looked like that because like like he would take a tight left and he'd like break and then like hold left. <laughs> like you should I, like, just I'm driving a real game. car. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're, like you're moving between worlds in Mario. Yeah. It's like you gotta go to each point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like like the really good gamers, they know how to like they practice practicing too. I think that's why there's a lot of, like, cross-similarity. But Ludwig said, this was, like, a while ago, probably like three days ago now, but, he, but Ludwig said something smart because... Ooh, <laughs> I know. I don't know. I'm just so scared <laughs> of my ass. This one. No, but I don't was, look like... Down, don't look down. Because I used to think that streamers were dog shit at games. Mm. Like, streamer, Like, I would get so frustrated watching someone play a game on Twitch 
And then when I became a streamer, I became dog shit at games. But I think like the point being that you don't think when someone's live on Twitch, they're thinking much about being live, but the exact opposite is true. Like when I'm streaming a new game or streaming a game, half of my brain's like, how do I make this moment funny? How do yeah, I do that? How do yeah. I perform this moment? You're how splitting I- the G. Yeah. And then that, that variability between the two, like it just, it cycles through whatever streamer you're watching. So like, if you're trying to be good at streaming, your content brain takes over your gameplay Squeaks, brain. let me tell you something. <laughs> oh my God. He's, gonna, oh, he, he's about go. to give you a speech about why he's the goat. Yeah, so he's you're gonna, gonna learn a little bit. Yeah, actually, if just you want, me, just mentally prepare. If you want to take some notes, actually, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh, right? You're gonna learn a lot about streaming right now. Okay, uh, all, all I'm saying, as someone who is probably the most electric mm. Valorant streamer mm. ever to do it, don't stop yourself with Valorant. All right, remove that word from that sentence. Just streamer. I'll let others edit if they want to. But what 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 I've been told by some people who are pretty successful is that I'm the kind of <laughs> what. I just didn't think you had that sentence in you. I really thought you just... <laughs> it's crazy. As, as someone who's been told, look, there's a reason why people watch me and not tens. Mm. Why is that? Because you clear? try to make the moment funny. <laughs> or you try to make a memorable moment. Go on. Let's be... I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. Okay, you're no, tricking me into giving you yeah, a compliment. <laughs> I'm trying try to like decipher. <laughs> he's, not, he's not beating tens in viewership. Tens has 20k. Would you he's say got his two. electricity has part of yeah. this, maybe? Let me quantify the shockingness of slime No, stream. but that's, that's, the, that's the way I have sort of hacked the system. I'm not... I'm actually not Is that why you forced by marshals? Uh, shut up. It's because, <laughs> because I will be like, all right, I'm not going to be really good. Yeah. Maybe I'll sometimes I'll have flashes of brilliance, mm. moment of brilliant. Mm. Yeah. By Intel. Like, which is really, like which Peter, is really, Peter, P- like P- Peter P- Pan, da- da- Dagger. And, but, so, but most of the time, my job is to just be funny at all costs. And right. not, this isn't a new concept, but it, I did think about, because Ludwig told me this, he's like, why do you think people want to watch you? And like, it's not because you're good. And I was like, that's hurtful. But it's tr- but it's true. <laughs> I've told That's you both true. smart things, and I don't but, remember either conversation. Yeah. You don't. This one's no. funny because it happened on the yard, which is a recorded show. Is that this? Yeah. Okay. Wait, we're on that show. <laughs> yeah. Are we live? Uh, I no. thought we were just talking. We, we have recorded talking. shows that you don't have to remember it because di- it's been digitally memorized for mm, you. That's true. Uh, More hard drive space. They'll be buried I'm with efficient. me in my Gen Alpha pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we are not getting pyramids. We're Let's not getting be pyramids. honest. No millennials are getting pyramids. Why not? We're a bad generation. We don't get no, it. No, we're not. Because, because we would make our pyramids have our fucking Harry Potter house on them. <laughs> It'd be embarrassing. Uh, why, why are millennials the most self-hating people Because we're fuck Because we, we suck ass. Because we grew up with Cray Sean. No, because we mm. think self-awareness yeah, is like a skill. We think self-awareness is so cool, but yeah. we're no less cringe than any other generation. Wait, so you're with us. We're cringe. No, I think everyone is equally cringe, and we're not more cringe than any other generation. Okay, here's why. I think it's cringe because our, we, 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 we can't buy a house. Here's why Wait, we're, true. Here's why we're <laughs> self-hating. Sad. We self-hate right now because we are just hot off of the, off of the conveyor belt. Mm. The Zoomers are now here. And we were there in the sunlight, but now we're not. What are they talking about? Your chuggy yeah. ass is on the way out. <laughs> me and you, we're me past and you. our prime. You guys are late millennials, and I don't want to hear shit about it. No, nah, we're like first gen Gen Z for sure. Not even close. I, I definitely am. Because that because Pinky he Doll is, said no, grab I'm grab, and you freaked about. out. He's Gen Z. He's, he's past the year. He's, uh, he's Z. The year's ninety six, <laughs> and I fucking I watch TikTok. I think it's <laughs> it depends on whether you're the oldest or the youngest. So if he was the youngest sibling, he'd be a millennial. It's giving millennial. Uh, Interesting. Mm. But he's the oldest sibling, so his his oh, little bro. The way the way the you're such a Gen Z. Yeah. <laughs> it's you, giving by giving a lot of youth <laughs> by energy. That is true. Speaking of being closeted, I wanted to tell you guys something. What? And I wanted to announce it on this podcast. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. You look like you're exhausted. No, I'm ready. I'm just preparing mentally because I know what you're going to say. watch Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, That's like, his I learned that they came out on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> and that one is one pink. Low-key, one, low one, one of them's like a darker movie and one of them's yeah. like about a toy. And that's kind of... Low-key, that was savage of them to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, listen, guys. And I learned this yesterday when we did fucking Wizard of Oz. Okay. I, I'm a theater kid. You like being on the stage? I made fun of theater kids my whole life. I made fun of people like improv. I said, I'm not like them. I'm cooler. It's not me. And then I realized yesterday that this whole time I've been denying that that's just who I am. And I would like to formally come out 
on this podcast and in my life as a the I'm a theater kid. Yeah, we know. I, uh, I, I so Mount never... Rushmore or Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think's on it? Yeah. Was it really that obvious? Yeah. This whole time? No, yeah. yeah, definitely. I didn't even I thought you already knew that. <laughs> I love how you guys are acting like theater kids are like some strange, different creatures. This is most I'm your dad. I'm not the mailman. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> we still accept you. You can still come Dude, to is it, most holidays, not we'll the ones out. with the mom's side of the family. Yeah, mom's side does not like... Don't bring this up in front of mom's side of the family. Okay. But there would be a problem. When, when, you, talk about our, when you, you talked about our, our, our jail-looking gym and how that scared you off, you know, I kind of got a hint. Okay. Well, I'm glad that, you know, I didn't think I was that obvious, but... Yeah, I've been I've are, been doing you, it my whole do life. You do an improv Look, I, don't, class? I don't mind, but are you gonna like yeah. start like practicing at home? <laughs> like when I'm here? <laughs> like you can be a theater. I just don't want to see it. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just, like, like you're in theater, but like why do you have to make your whole personality? <laughs> just you know? don't call it comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but true, honestly. It's not comedy, they're different. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. different. It's different. It's different. But, it's different. but the same. Do it. Like do improv, laugh. But separately. But don't call it right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for letting me, you know, be myself. Squeaks, I'm glad you're here for this too. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm glad I could be here and support. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like you're supporting. Uh, I'm just a little weirded out by it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not your values. It's not really his thing. He like doesn't. He I don't. He doesn't get it. I don't really like, get he, it. You don't yeah. get it. Like, is it, you want to ask me any questions about? Mm, just like do it in your own time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I'll support you. Like I'll put like whatever bumper sticker on my tongue. I dragged him along. You to send watch me the profile picture. Shorts. I'll use it. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> The theater kid, the theater kid pride flag would be so funny. <laughs> whatever, whatever square you need on my Instagram, I'll fucking. It's like, it's like a curved text that says yes and. It just goes <laughs> over your profile picture. Yes and, and it's my fucking Harry Potter house. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm very intolerant. Yeah. Now I, just realized, I just learned I'm openly intolerant. Yeah, my kids. body just repulsed into itself. I'm serious though. I had this revelation, and yeah, I was what, like, "What prompted this? What about when we you?" Did theater. For two and a half oh, hours. Oh, right. I was like, I like this a lot. This is bad. Uh-oh, by Debios. Fun. fun, performance, fun. I, I, have a, I have a question for you. Uh, What's up? If you... <laughs> if you <laughs> the audio listeners got diced. <laughs> <by him>. <laughs> <laughs> for squeaks. <laughs> for squeaks. Uh, if, if you... Because you said you're not good at very many games. Uh, <laughs> like, you've... Lo- you, you did say that. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm only gonna like two games. If this you is could true. pick, If you could pick a game to be absolutely fucking sick at, but... It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not tied to the success of your stream you career at all. You lose one inch off you? your penis. Oh, oh I would do it. <laughs> I have a massive you lose dick an inch off your penis to do it. <laughs> I mean, I could take a few inches off. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, relax. Wow. We're not trying to lop inches off. <laughs> all right, let's get, to, let's, uh, let's get to the Patreon episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what game would I choose if it didn't even, it didn't affect my stream at all? Yeah, if you could be a, like you're a professional level at some game, what would it be? It'd be Valorant. Really? Yeah. Not CSGO? Well, I just think I played at the highest level I could at CSGO, and I feel like beyond a certain point in CSGO, I don't, I don't know, I just feel like I'm, I was just not interested. Did, okay. you, did you play Face It? Yeah. Were you Face, face it, it 10? Well, I, I played back when it was like ESEA was more popular. Mm. So Face It's kind of like a newer thing. Dude, did you watch those old ass streams? It was before Valorant was out, but it was like the old late night streams where it was like everyone was on, like Wardell, Tarek, and oh, Som. Yeah. And just like grinding the the ten mans late at night, yeah, it was, those uh, were good times. Rank S, it yeah. was it was some of the best Twitch of all time. Dude, it was so sick. Yeah, and and Valorant came out and it just all went away because the bag for NA Valorant for NA CS:GO is just like it's at Valorant. Yeah, what's, oh, your, what, what's your Valorant rank? Well, I don't really get into Valorant, but I'm like plat three, plat two. But I just like don't plat, like the plat, ability. Plat's the classic. I don't really even play that game, right? No, but I swear I don't. I swear <laughs> but you I don't. actually don't play. But that I game. actually don't. You play like, Phoenix. It's because he's Counter Strike man. Yeah, like yeah. Phoenix and Jet. Yeah. I'm not gonna fucking pretend like I know all the abilities or or pretend like I'm interested. But like my theory is, I'm not a big enough streamer to pretend Valorant's more fun than CS. Like if I want uh, to play an FPS, I'm just gonna load up CS:GO. That's like a good the, amount of CS streams still. I do. You I do? like. I enjoy it. Yeah, I like doing you, it. He goes a lot of the laziest stream. will be like three wins, then I end. You open, you open <laughs> cases. You, open you, you cases? crack. I, oh, I love that. How trip. much? Yeah. How much money lifetime? What have you spent on keys? I am like a fucking monk when it comes to cases. I don't. I don't do it at all. 
Wait, wait, you said you, you did said crack you like, though. I mean, I like I've cracked open some cases, but throughout my whole career, I've never been like a case or skin. Okay, guy. but what do you think your lifetime you dump you into CS:GO is in terms of money? Up, Aiden. <laughs> yeah, probably like forty bucks, thirty bucks. Wow, I'm around. I'm like twenty dollars more than that. Probably <laughs> Aiden probably spent more to play the game. He probably bought it from yeah, someone. Yeah, he bought it back, <laughs> back when you had to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, like I did bucks. buy Counter Strike. I yeah, bought it for too. fifteen bucks. So yeah. <laughs> Aiden yeah. has tell him your knife. Uh I have I have a knife that is worth uh eighteen thousand dollars right Holy now. Holy shit. You didn't crack it. I did not crack it. I bought it for fourteen. And 14 it is worth grand? eighteen. Yeah. I mean that's an investment. That's you actually should, yeah. kind of oh, you, should, you should start Thank a you. podcast, is Thank all you. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, open just a CSGO case unboxing podcast. I'm just saying that's how you get your bread up. That's how you get your money up, not your funny up. All yeah. you have to do is buy skins before they announce CS2. I don't it's very <laughs> easy. Okay, podcast podcast idea. It's, you crack the entire episode, but normal podcast while you talk. Title of the episode is just the total value you cracked in skins. Okay. So it's like a, it's just a number. Nick with YouTube brain is dangerous. That's a bad I, idea. I'm just funny. Well, I'm I'm just realizing <laughs> that like the the way you you're you're starting to look at YouTube the way you look at video games. I'm like, uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's do whatever <laughs> content pieces we can that get us to crack more. Is what I'm behind. Yeah, but why did we all accept like this whole skins? Like the, I don't remember. The odds being are like, horrific. Yeah, and it only becomes more and more mainstream. Have you noticed that? Like all of these huge. Why are these celebrities all cracking crack? knives then? Hmm? Why are they all cracking knives that the odds are bad? I should crack because they crack knives. Yeah, they crack yeah. knives like we did. Remember when Kyle, our friend, cracked a knife on a Steam Deck? Yeah, oh, that was now that's normal. Base. He was doing it before; it was cool. He was. Doing he was doing it on a plane now, which is like the corporate version. It's like that you is. Probably cracked knives ten years ago too, though, or however long ago you could Ninja CS:GO Lotto. Yes, go lot when those skin websites were out. That I'm, was like that was true crack cocaine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those people would just do that for like twelve hours. Phantom Lord, cra- like playing like fake odds to hundred fifty thousand people on Twitch. <laughs> do you know that was the old Twitch viewership record for a long time? It was like a no it shit. was a Phantom Lord stream where he he had on the people that like hacked the riot servers for the day, and it was like Phantom Holy Lord shit. just talking to these like. Uh, European guys to 150,000 people. That's crazy. And, uh, and yeah, then he got just banned. Be funny. <laughs> 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 I don't even. I don't even want to touch that accent. <laughs> I'm scared of that accent. It's fine, man. <laughs> I don't support that. <laughs> Speaking of knives, are you cut or uncut? Oh, I'm uncut. I was Welcome. born in India. Welcome. Hey, he is too. Yo, let's go. All around. Let's go. All around. Well, oddly All enough, around. I was born in India, but I still got circumcised. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the crazy part. <laughs> yeah, you brought your own knife. Yeah. <laughs> My you mom was like, hand him over. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I got an M9 <laughs> marble fade. I really got to crack it open. <laughs> it's super Cracking foreskin. <laughs> See if there's two dicks inside. Checking oh. the wear, and it's like skin on. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> No, but I just think, like, okay, and this is not, t- I, I think it's cool that you like, like, Counter-Strike skins and stuff, I, but I think they ruined the game. I want to be, yeah. ooh, Oh, my ooh. God. How did they ruin the game? Show your work. So, here's why. Because I understand it brought in so much viewership and everything, but now, when you think of CS content, it's very few people mm. are interested in the game at all. It's all about the ancillary stuff, like opening skins or, like, uh. lottery stuff, but the game itself, like... It's kind of like silly to stream it without having case unboxing. It's like a main pull. I only kind of agree. I think the casual audience for watching CS, like the era of watching somebody just play for fun or watching a streamer that isn't a pro is like, it's going away. And unless those people are cracking, I think it is hard for like a new person. Like if I were to start streaming Counter-Strike, it would be hard for me as a player to become a Counter-Strike streamer in the way a Valorant streamer could. But I think the difference with CS is that the esports scene is significantly bigger than, like, the skin-cracking scene. Like, you you will always have, like, 500,000 people watching the major, and that doesn't have anything to do with cracking. And I think there's not, like, that, like... There's that interim, like, casual market for Valorant that I don't think CS really has... Also, to, to argue that Valorant also is, is oftentimes about the bullshit and not the game, right? Yeah. Like, they have created an entire culture of, like, just the culture around the game. A that, cabal. A cabal, if a you cabal. will. True. E-daters. Yeah. Yeah, the e-daters. And the, and the meow. 
There's definitely a, a casual. There's like a casual YouTube angle for Valorant that just does not exist. Yeah, there's CS. a bunch of Valo content. Valo content kind of thrives everywhere. Even you, like a skin, like new skin come out. This is my review of the skin. It's like okay. Yeah, but that's big. But it's all contained in the game. I think what makes CS a little more predatory is that there's all these third party shady companies yeah. that are trying to get a cut of it, and the money is like twenty grand. Saudi like, Ramco. Is that what it's called? Yeah. They could be the biggest stream in the world. What is it? They just, the oil, the largest oil it's company the in the world. Saudi National Oil Company. And they oh, just start yeah. unboxing 100K a day. It's oh my crazy God. that it's you called get, a cartel. You know how you know how there were those like Drake steak streams? Uh -huh. It's like MBS and he's just cracking CSGO cases. <laughs> that would go crazy. That would crush. That would be a I would watch that. Let's yeah. put the geopolitics aside for a day so we can all crack let's together. Just see, let's just see what MBS unboxes. I, I, if we crack enough M9 sapphires, we can pay back the budget for the F1 Riyadh <laughs> race this year. It like, has like a little donation bar. <laughs> <laughs> One F one fifty, dude. Oh my god! All the players get in big shale. Yeah, they get in. That's I, a, we should start. I Can mobile moves get into shale? Is, could get into fracking? Yeah, we could get Ying. Oh. Oh. CS Go skins becoming the vehicle for like global oil money is it great for me? Great for my portfolio yeah. right now. Yeah, when it's tied to a natural resource. <laughs> Can we get Yingling? We should get Yingling. You know that video of like the guys all muddy working on like a oil. Yeah, okay, just Yingling and Yan, just all muddied up. Just fucking up. We just lower them out to an oil company in Texas, and we just we have them frag <laughs> for a year. Yes, and we, they come back with so many stories. Oh, they would be so interesting. They'd be so worldly. Like your dumps. Like be, I'm like you my know, dumps. You're gonna, we're gonna send you to North Dakota, and you're gonna pump some water into that shale, <laughs> and you're gonna see what comes out. I'll, I'll be interested in that. I want to see that. And we're gonna pump all the viewers into the Patreon episode now. Because we hit our 90. <laughs> what a weird sentence. <laughs> Why, you're We're going to pump. pump all we're the gonna, viewers. We're gonna if you're a viewer, you're viewers. about to be pumped. So put the 3D glasses on under your seat. It's about to be the pumping time. Yeah, it's also 4D you. if you sniff. Uh, Squeaks, what, what do you want to tell the people at home? Um, You finally have a platform. Wow. <laughs> the vaccine. No, I got you demonetizer right now. <laughs> no, uh, nothing. I, thanks for having me on. This was a blast. Good to, you know, meet. I haven't talked to, like, Nick or Eamon at all that too much, so it's good to talk to you guys. Do you guys. think his name's Eamon? Do I think his name is Eamon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you been, have you you know been tricked name? like everyone else? I don't know your What do you name. think his name is? <laughs> what what, what is do you it? want me to say? Well, the, answer, the answer's Eamon, me clearly. Me I think it's Eamon. All right. Wait, is that incorrect? No, Eamon it's right. Gaiman. That's right. It's right. <laughs> it's Eamon Gaiman. Hey, everyone. Thanks Gaiman. for watching. Wait, yeah. I feel Squeaks, so... Squeaks, everybody. Yay! If you want to go to the Patreon, oh, thank you. the Patreon episode, you can do that now. It's on the Patreon.com. We'll see you next, next week or on the Patreon, and see and you later. We will be sending a, a bomb, a BT <laughs> a bomb. to the Fear <laughs> and place. Yeah, we're we're we will be going to the place. There will be no BTs. And BT means big ticket to a fun carnival. <laughs> we're going to send them a beat, all of them, BTs. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going to buy so much Uranium. In, in <laughs> you watch Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hours, I'm like, get me in, because it's like it's Drive triumphant. Because that's an true. adult. Because that's yeah. an adult. It's like when yeah. the fonts. So I use in. my adult voice. It's not yeah. a fucking and joke. Then, and then I walk in, and I go dubbing, dubbing, <laughs> dubbing. I think if, I think if a baby was talking like this, we'd have to take it in. And then, <laughs> for like a, for like a refund.